I just thought about something. Rome, you just told me earlier you won 47. 147, yeah. And you won 47. So that means y'all must be sparring a lot. Oh, yeah. We, we sparred yesterday. All right. Yeah. We did uh, four rounds, but we, like, all together, or everybody, I think, did, like, eight. Yeah. Eight, eight all together. Yeah, yeah. Rome, he's got a lot of heart, man. Yeah. He's only got, uh, like, three fights. Five. Five, five now. Fights, yeah. I had a few, though, like, that was scratching, so I could have had way more. Right, but, right. Yeah. Uh, I saw I saw Rome I saw Rome about three or four weeks ago uh, before Christmas in here sparring. I mean uh, he was looking really slick, yeah, slick fighter. Slick. Hit and not get hit. That's yeah. his motto. I get it from these dudes, Mike. Yeah. And Rome, like training training with them makes it right. hard with us. Damn, yeah. yeah. So he's got a lot of heart just to get in there with us. Yeah. But I mean he's he's progressing a lot a lot quicker than the rest because right because of that heart he's, he's willing to get in there. With, for anybody, for right? Beast though. So, would you say you're more of a boxer or puncher, mm. or both, both or both? Both. both. He'll box and when, and when, hit. Mo, when Mo get comfortable, he get like real shit. Yeah. He'll, he'll just like start popping, but also he can stay stay on his back foot and start boxing. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I can, I can, I can dance when I want to. Oh, yeah. I can put that pressure when I want. Or to. Or you can too. sit in the pocket. Right, right. right. I yeah. love staying in the pocket. But I mean, sometimes they come, they they come quick whenever he in the pocket. They, them right hands and hooks come quick. But I noticed how last time I saw you spar, they try to get in the pocket and you whip right out. You spin right out of it. You pick and choose when you want to stay in the pocket when you want to get out. Yeah, me, I don't, I don't try to really like brawl or bang too much, but I will if I have to. Right. I like to stick to my natural boxing style. The whole object is not to get hit. Who's, who's some of your uh, favorite fighters, man, growing up? What inspired you to get into boxing? Well, for sure, the one that like I saw that got my attention was Roy Jones. Cause, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. he was doing that behind the back. Shit. Yeah, so yeah. It was very entertaining. Right. And then uh, from there was Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson. Yeah. But, and uh, Cesar Chavez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, those guys, I feel like, yeah, those are, they inspired him at the beginning, but yeah. like, Recently, it's yeah. been like, I like Bo Dennis, okay. I like Spence, Canelo, so I, like me, I like to mix it up. Yeah. Like I, I want to mix it up Canelo and Spence. You know? Let me ask both of y'all this. Since y'all fight at 147, were y'all fans of Oscar, Sugar Shane Mosley, Felix Trinidad? Those were all 147 pound yeah. fighters Definitely. that were at the top of the game during that era. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Fernando Fargus was at 154, he was good. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You got uh, Bernard Hopkins. Yeah. Yeah, I like Bernard. Yeah. I like Bernard. Damn, but I did like Elsa La Hoya, but I feel like they all, all kind of crashed late in their, in, in their careers. As most I'm, people do. Right, right, unless right. you're Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. <laughs> but that happened like after they fought Floyd Mayweather. But after yeah. they fought Floyd and Floyd just kept going up. Right. And then they started going down a little bit. It's hard to stay. Yeah. Stay at the top. Right. But man, I think Elsa La Hoya was for sure like the most like, the most in the mid. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, he was fast, he was strong. He was like the brain machine at the time. Right, right. Right. I like to, then, you know, you let other things out of box and out of the ring get you. Yeah. And, yeah. That's the main thing, just stay disciplined. Yeah. 